Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys three of the best video editing apps that you can get on mobile. You might think you need a great computer to edit decent videos, right? Well, think again, because there are some awesome video tools that you can use on your phone to make those decent videos. Now, the tools I'm going to show you are 100% free, but they actually have a plan that you can pay for to get rid of, let's say, some watermarks and stuff. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So app number one is called iMovie. This is a decent app to start off with. Not great, but just decent. But this app is actually quite limited in what it can do, which means that it only has very basic tools, such as splitting your clip, adding a picture in picture, adding a split screen, adding music, and also using a green screen, like something like this, which is actually a relatively new feature to iMovie. But you cannot really add keyframes uh, the closest to keyframes that you will get in iMovie is the Ken Burns effect, and that only works for photos. And you cannot add two video layers at once. So what I mean by that is that you can only have one video clip and one video layer, and then that's about it. But that didn't stop me from starting a YouTube channel in the year 2019, and using iMovie actually a lot in the start. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 6 out of 10. Anyway, let's move on to the next app. App number 2 is called Kenny Master. Now, I also have a lot of experience with this application. It's actually a lot more powerful than iMovie, and has a lot less limitations as iMovie has. You can add keyframes and add many different video and photo layers. There's even an asset store where you can download music, video filters, sound effects, transitions, and more. The only problems that I ran into, to be honest, is the amount of ads in the application. There's a lot more ads in this app, and also the fact that there is a watermark, which you have to pay to remove. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna give Candy Master a seven and a half out of 10. App number three is called CapCut. Now this app has actually be getting very popular over the past couple of months because there are a lot of TikTok editors that are using CapCut. So this app is like KineMaster, but there are a few extra layering features in CapCut than there are in KineMaster, and also the transitions that come with CapCut originally actually seem like a lot more modern than the transitions that come with KineMaster. And there also isn't a watermark that you cannot remove, but the drawbacks are that it's stuck in vertical, which is actually a huge drawback for me. But I mean, other than that, I'm going to give this app an 8.5 out of 10. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you loved it, please subscribe, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye!